It's so exciting that all the um, different public art that we have. Um, this morning I was looking through uh, Facebook and we even had a post from Jack Thurston from first uh, approached me about the uh, mural, she uh, sent a mock-up on, um, on, on the phone, and I looked at it and I said, boy, you know, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. So I started asking some of my colleagues up here at City Hall, a couple of the elder people, and um, I got a mixed reaction, and it wasn't against the mural itself, it was more, is, is it appropriate to have something on City Hall itself? And um, you know, the more and more I thought about it, the location, the, uh, the, the idea behind it, I said, you know what, let's go for it. Because, uh, as you know, Sherry, <laughs> Sherry doesn't take no for an <laughs> So, uh, to keep my sanity, that's what we did. But I'm, I'm so glad I did, because I can tell you, uh, since it's uh, um, been up and, and the community has had a chance to look at it, I've had nothing but positive remarks, positive reaction. People are so enthused about not only this, and uh, Gopi, thank you so much for, for all, you, all you, you've done. We really appreciate it. I a lot of time and effort. And, and, uh, but it fits right in perfectly with what's, just, what's been mentioned, all the other art pieces, and, uh, and just the revitalization we're seeing around the community. It gives people a reason to be, um, uh, to come to Rutland, uh, to be thankful for what they have, and to enjoy the surroundings. So, I appreciate you all coming out. Thank you very much. And uh, we will turn it over to the partnership. Thank you, Mary Lair. I'm Tiffany. I'm from the Downtown Rutland Partnership. Uh, thank you. First, I really want to say thank you for coming out today. It's a beautiful day to be here in Downtown Rutland. Hopefully, you made it over to the Farmer's Market or got some lunch downtown. Have it. Get a little chocolate. Uh, we also really want to thank the Chucky Art Center for leading this project. And also a big thank you to mural artist Logie LaRoe for adding more beauty to our city. Mm. And as we celebrate <laughs> as we celebrate this wonderful addition to downtown, it's really inspiring to know that creations like a beginner's mind bring vibrancy to this district. But it also brings so much more than that. This mural is a vehicle for opportunity as a it projects a message of our values and our beliefs. It inspires our neighbors and it ignites our imagination. Downtown Rutland, like Mayor Lair said, is a community that embraces these concepts. And we couldn't be happier to be here today for the unveiling at Rutland City Hall, where our beginner's mind resides, with our eyes cast upwards, looking up to what endless opportunities may come our way. happen daily and um, so excited to be a part of it so excited to be part of everyone here in the community um, so I'd like to introduce Lopi would you like to say a few words I'm not Jimi Hendrix so I'm not going to do the feedback um, I just want to thank you guys thank you uh, Dave and Sherry and for the support and for letting me meet City Hall I guess Brooklyn likes me. <laughs> Yay! Um, just to people. Whoa, that was loud, right? Oh. No. 
I saw spasm. you jump when I... No, I had a back spasm, <laughs> sorry. Uh, so when creating public art, people ask a lot of questions, and I wanted to um, give a little bit of an answer right now. Um, first of all, if you want to ask me what it means, I would ask you what it means. Because when I make art, I the art is the message. So when you look at it, you get the message. Whatever it means to you is what it means. And um, that said, I would love to introduce the model for this wonderful mural. If she wants to come up for one second. Well, that's the new place right there. She's a very inspirational child. <laughs> um, yeah, so what do I want to say? I didn't plan any remarks. I like to go off the cuff. And I just feel so grateful to this new community, uh, my new hometown, for accepting me and allowing me. I hope that this generation coming up finds time to put down their uh, devices and pick up some books. Because when I was a child, that was what I did, and it was very, it was very inspiring for me. I could spend hours and hours lost in in fantasy novels and sci-fi, and you know, like The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, and stuff like that. And I just think. People need to um, read books because the imagination is what it ignites when you read a book. So that's what I was trying to uh, inspire. And I just wanted people to feel happy and to unite because there's so much divisiveness going on in our in our day and time. You know, you're this, you're that whatever um, identity politics or whatever, and I wanted something that could just make everybody feel like we're all humans and we're standing on the same ground and we're neighbors and we care about our kids. Um, what other unifying, more unifying thing can we say than like we care about our kids, even if you don't have kids like me, mm -hmm. I care about the kids. So, Woo! Yeah. oh, and there was one other thing that I thought was amazing that I found out about this here building. It used to be uh, the firehouse where they kept the fire engines and the firemen, right? So guess what used to be in this building? A reading room. So this was the reading room, and I didn't know that. And here I am painting books all over it. So <laughs> I thought that was really, really a good sign from the universe, I was on the right path, but, you know, those firemen, they used to hang out in here and read books and magazines or whatever, they were smoking cigarettes in there too, which, <laughs> <laughs> I guess they like to smoke, but, yeah, the, the spirit of those, those firemen are coming through right now, so, I just want to thank everybody for coming out, and thank you again for the support, and I will put the mic up in the air, and whoever wants to catch it. <laughs> Yay! Thank you, Lopi. We all agree you are amazing and creative and talented. And for me, you know, when you look, when I look at the mural, and I listen to everybody about, you know, Rutland in the area, and um, you know how we have a lot of fortunate things, and we have a lot to look forward to. And that's what you know. She's very hopeful, right? She's looking up. She's hopeful, optimistic for the future. Because I think we have a lot of really positive things here, um, and I think that sometimes we forget. So this just shows you again how wonderful it is to live in Rutland. So, with that said, I want to say thanks again for coming. Enjoy the Halloween parade, and hopefully we'll see you at the Chappie for the holidays. <laughs> <laughs> Yay!